ladies and gentlemen, you know, they're projecting that 2024 is going to be a record breaking layoff year because these tech companies are pouring billions of dollars into AI and those AI um, programs that they're about to implement will replace humans from jobs. So let's get into it. The tech sector is pouring billions of dollars into AI, but it keeps laying off humans. Yeah, that, that is the whole purpose. That is the whole purpose. So the tech sector is kicking off the new year with a spate of fresh cut jobs. And yes, I did see Google and a whole bunch of companies that laid off at the very beginning of the year. So they are coming at the same time the industry is doubling down on investments into artificial intelligence. While AI tools putting workers out of jobs has been a major point of anxiety in Silicon Valley and beyond over the past year, not all the recent layoffs in tech industry are directly linked to AI. So, uh, but many of the recent job cut announcements have come on the heel of those same companies disclosing major investments into AI technology as they look to reallocate resources. A growing number of tech firms have explicitly cited AI as a reason for rethinking headcount. The continued labor upheaval unfolding in the very industry creating AI could point to more unrest to come as the technology is forecast to reshape the broader business landscape in the years ahead. So more than 5,500 tech layoffs in less than two weeks into 2024 and they said this is going to continue to go. Many of these organizations want to get AI up and running to the point where they can cut a percentage of their staff. So the latest rounds of tech jobs cut are occurring across a range of roles in both big tech companies and smaller startups. Tech giants like Google and Amazon both announced sweeping layoffs this week, impacting hundreds of workers across various business uh, divisions. So the news of the job cut at Google and Amazon come months after both companies separately announced multi-million dollar investments into AI startups. Also this week, social media platform Discord said it was trimming 17% of their staff, Unity Software. So, wow. And they said it was cutting 25% of its workforce. And also language learning app. Duolingo is laying off 10% of its contract workers. So, wow. And the latest cuts in tech, this comes after two painful years of the industry marked by hundreds of thousands of workers losing their jobs amid a reset in the pandemic-induced demand. There were some 262,682 tech industry layoffs recorded in 2023. And the previous year, in 2022, there were 164,969 cuts. So, you know, they're saying that a lot of these employees are feeling the anxiety of possibly being laid off and replaced by 
AI. So uh, the tech industry is another one that never really fully rebound after the pandemic. And, you know, during the pandemic, they said there was a big demand for digital service as people around the world were forced to work at home. Against the backdrop, the tech industry went on a remarkable hiring spree. But as the pandemic restrictions were eased in the year, that followed a broader macroeconomic uncertainty set in. The tech industry saw its greatest retraction since the dot-com bust of 2000, cutting tens of thousands of jobs in rapid succession. Wow. Last year, companies, they're saying like IBM and Dropbox, just to name a few, cited the onset of AI as a reason for rethinking staffing. More recently, Duolingo and even Google have suggested the same as they seek to mobilize resources to capitalize on the AI boom. And you know what, y'all? Don't be surprised if you start hearing AI taking over the moderation online. I kid you not. The people that are monitoring our channels and, you know, on a regular basis, they may not need those people because, you know, you'll have the AI that can do those kind of social media moderation jobs. You may need a, a few people to monitor it to make sure nothing goes wrong, but all the people they got doing this kind of stuff, they're not going to need those people. They're not. I, I can see those jobs going in a big way within these next few years. Goldman Sachs economist said a research note last Friday, as many as 300 million full-time jobs around the world could be lost or diminished over the rise of AI technology. That is a lot of jobs, 300 million worldwide lost to AI. Woo! and that white collar workers appear to be the most at risk. Separate research also indicate that women's jobs could be disproportionately impacted by AI in the years ahead. Yeah, see, you know what? If they can use AI, they don't have to give AI a salary like they do with humans on the payroll. So yeah, that that is costing more money to pay for all the human labor than to use AI. And you know, they at the end of the day, these big corporations do not care about you like that. They never have and they never will. As the tech industry lays off can uh, they're, they're saying that um, advocates are taking notice to all of the layoffs that are going on right now and the ones to come. So the Google workers who lost their jobs this week were shocked to find out via email that they were being laid off. Yeah, and I heard Google do you dirty the way they lay off. Um, during the pandemic, I was reading some of the people that were working remotely, some of them got laid off. And you know how they did it? They woke up and tried to log into their computer to work from home and their log in account was disabled. That's how they found out they were laid off. They didn't even tell them. The ones that could not log in, they were the ones that were laid off. That's how they did it. I thought that was pretty rotten for real. So this round, they had let go a lot of engineers that worked for Google. A lot. And, you know, people were upset, you know, and they felt that the layoffs were unnecessary and counterproductive, 
you know, the layoffs introduce chaos and instability in the workplace and force workers to do with less. And Google, for its part, has said that the cuts were to help the teams become more efficient and work better and that it's supporting impact employees as they look for new roles here in Google and beyond. Yeah, you know, and, and I had saw the stories. That's how I knew about the layoffs during the pandemic. And it just seems sort of brutal. But then again, that's not the first time I have seen that. I have seen it before. So, you know, especially if it's a company that hires a bunch of contractors and they really don't hire too many people, those are the companies, those tech companies will never care about you. Mm -mm. Some lawmakers, meanwhile, have recently taken aim at reports of tech layoff and its effect on certain workers. The coalition of more than two dozen black lawmakers led by Democratic Rep. Emmanuel Cleaver of Missouri and Barbara Lee of California expressed concerns over the impacts of widespread layout, uh, layoffs with the tech industry and its disproportionate impacts on the African-American community and women in a letter late last month uh -huh, to acting Labor Secretary Julie Sue. Recent findings have consistently shown that minorities and women are vastly overrepresented in the industry's layoffs, the letter said. The lawmakers express the Department of Labor to pay closer attention to these ongoing mass layoffs and to do more to protect workers most at risk of losing their livelihood. So y'all, this is just not sounding good, but this is what they're saying, that 2024 will probably be a record-breaking year for layoffs. And for the most part, these folks are being laid off and replaced by AI. If you know someone impacted by this, or you yourself, my subscribers, are impacted by this, let me know in the comments section. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.